I got you here today because we're going to talk about how to install a helicoil. So I have a workpiece here that I am uh, machining and we discussed installing helicoils in there to increase the longevity of this workpiece because it's going to be going through a lot of heat cycles and the, uh, the raw aluminum against the bolt eventually will probably cause some galling. So we're going to put some helicoils in there to kind of prevent that. A little bit of, a little bit of never seize on the bolt in a helicoil and it'll work really well for a long time. So let's go over the essentials. You got to have your helicoil kit. This is the kits that I have right there. So in your helicoil kit, you should have some coils in the proper size. So we got half 13. That's what we're using here. They do make them in different lengths. I have three quarter. All right, you should have your proper drill bit. It should say on there helicoil. This is a 17 32nd. This is the proper drill bit size for a half 13 helicoil. You also have your install tool right here. This is what you screw the insert into the hole with. You're going to have the, the proper tap, and this will also say helicoil on there if it's the proper tap size. This is an oversized tap made just for these helicoils. So make sure it's the right tap. So that's it right there, and we got some more coils. So in addition to that, you're also going to need a spotting drill to spot the hole. You're going to need a chamfering tool to chamfer it with. You need a spring-loaded center to help guide the tap straight. You're also going to need a punch so you can punch the tang out of the end of the a coil. And you're also going to need a tap wrench as well. I've got a couple different sizes that I'm using right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm already centered up in this location. Uh, this, this piece, typically when you use a helicoil, you're you're repairing threads so you have a thread that's stripped out in this case we don't have any threads at all we're just going straight in there with it so we're just going to be uh, straight drilling it with the 1732nd tapping it and installing the helicoil i'm going to start with my stubby drill here just to spot the hole in and provide a nice divot for the drill bit to follow Next, we're going to use the proper tap drill size, which is our 17 30 seconds drill. And I've zeroed out, and we're going to go an inch and a half deep. Next up, we're going to use our chamfering tool and provide you a nice chamfer on the edge of that hole there. A little touch of oil. I'm going to use the spring-loaded center in the drill chuck. That, that will help guide the tap completely straight in line with the axis of the hole there. So I'm going to use my tap wrench. Go ahead and put a little bit of cutting oil on the, on the tap itself and then we'll apply some more as we tap it. So just stick it in the hole and then line the spring-loaded center up with the center in the end of the tap. Give it a little preload. A little extra oil there inside the hole and commence the tapping it. Keep it well lubed up and make sure you keep spring tension on the tap there. And we'll just run this tap all the way to the bottom of the hole and then bring it back out and clean it out. Want to clean the hole out real good. I'm going to use a little bit of solvent here to uh, help break the oil down. Cover it up and use a uh, air gun here to blow the chips out of the hole. So there's the coil. Here's the install tool. You want to thread it, thread the coil up onto the tool. Make sure the tang side is down and screw it all the way up until it catches the tang on the bottom side there. And I'm going to use a slightly smaller tap wrench for this one right here. And just center it up on the hole. I'm going to provide a little bit of downforce pressure with my left hand. And I'm going to spin it with my right hand to get it started in there. And I'm just going to keep downward pressure on it. 
It's going to feel snug going in the hole, but that's okay. That's normal. All right, and you're just watching for that last, that last bit of coil to go down inside the hole and fully seat into the thread. So it's down in there, right there. It's fully in the thread, so we're just going to leave it right there. Go ahead and back the tool out. All right, that looks good. So sometimes the kits come with their own punch, and my, my kit does not, so I'm just going to use this punch right here. And it doesn't take a lot of force. They're, the way that the ground, they'll just knock right off there. So just uh, stick the punch over against the edge where it's connected to. Just give it a little tap. It just taps right off there. All right, so the tang fell down to the bottom of the hole. And you can try to blow it out with air, but you can just wait until you're done and take the workpiece out and flip it over and shake it, and it'll fall right out of there. There's our half 13 bolt. Just give it a little check. Seems to be fitting just fine in there. So we have success there. And we just got two more to do right there, but I wanted to uh, share with you guys how, how a helicoil kit works and how to install it. And hopefully this will help you out in the future if you ever need to install one, okay? Thanks for watching.